But to my surprise, look at how much free stuff. Hello humans, potatoes, spuds and everything else marvellous that exists in this marvellous, marvellous, marvellous world. My name is Juice Mila and welcome back to my channel. Girl, you know, I was just I was just kind of sitting down the other day and I was just kind of thinking, I deserve to treat myself. Do you know what I mean? I deserve to give myself something nice. So I thought, you know what? I haven't bought makeup in such a long time because like I've mentioned before, I do wear makeup but it's not like every day, like it's not on a constant. I'm a very natural girl, <laughs> you know, natural. <laughs> like I'm very simplistic in terms of that. I do wear makeup whenever I'm, you know, feeling like I want to be a bad bib. A bad bib. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? I decided to treat myself, I'm getting myself a cheeky little box of Maker Revolution. I'm quite excited to see. Let's get to unboxing these goodies and let's see what Makeup Revolution has given to me. And I've chosen to do this video barefaced because obviously I'm gonna be trying some of these products. And you know, I wanna I wanna give you guys the full illusion. I want you guys to see what it looks like when you straight away put it on your skin. And yeah, let's get unboxing. So I didn't think that I was going to be getting <laughs> this massive, massive box of stuff. Like, I didn't realize it was going to be this massive box. I, op I did open the box and let me show you guys. Hold on. When I received the box, it came with this super cute little um, personalized message. You know, it even has my name, You Are Evolution Juice Me Live, which I thought was really cute. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be removing the items and showing you guys what I have gotten from Makeup Revolution. Product marketing, they're pretty good at it. <laughs> taking notes, taking notes, you know what I mean? Okay, so the first item, which is. So I'm assuming this is like a collaboration they've done with Jake Jamie. Is it Jake Jamie? Yeah, Jake Jamie. And um, it says it's a revitalizing essence spray. So I'm assuming it's one of those sprays that you... Child, this is what happens when you don't read <laughs> before you order. I thought... I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. But I thought this was a body spray. Let's see what it smells like. If this gets in my eye... Um, this smells really nice. It's got a really like citrusy smell to it. Um, that, I quite like the way it feels when I sprayed it on my skin. Very refreshing and I really like the smell that comes out from it. Would I buy this again? Most likely. Now that I know what it actually is <laughs> and it's not a body spray, then yeah. Why not? I mean, if it smells good, it smells good. It's a bit of me. The next product that I bought is the gold elixir serum and you know I've been wanting to do like my makeup like right so I need to start using primers and etc etc you know just to get the full look okay the next product that I bought is the vitamin C super strength formula for radiance and strength serum helps to improve skin radiance and encourages smooth skin texture obviously i thought it was about time that i just got a few things to kind of help me in terms of my skin i do use natural products like olive oil and coconut oil on my skin usually and you know what it's what i've been using since i was, since I was a child it's one pound you got a little <laughs> tesco wherever you buy it you know, God has blessed us with many natural oils, and I guess vitamin C is one of them. Um, I think I might have to, like, first start using it before I can have a full opinion. But let's open the packet and see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging. It comes like this. I'm assuming it's one of those squeeze tubes. Ooh, so it comes out like this. And it's supposed to help with skin radiance, etc. etc. So let's see what happens once I start using it. 
it does it doesn't have a smell to it it just smells like oil <laughs> it smells like an oil like there's no it would have been cute if they could have added some kind of smell to it like I do I know some people prefer to have their products without any scent but I quite like it when I put an oil and it smells really nice but that is just my own personal preference the next item is an intense um, multi-acid peeling solution I heard it's really good to do chemical peels for your skin um, so I'm gonna be trying this and let me just get it because the camera so you guys can see what it looks like and let's open it oh oh gosh okay and according from what I read it's the minimal I think for you to do it twice a week um, and I believe it's to remove dead skin and you know just to kind of push out that new stuff growing on the bottom that sometimes you know you do need like for example like an exfoliator etc to just get rid of you know so I'm definitely looking forward to using this and like I mentioned I'm a massive fan of skincare so let's see how this beauty is going to work this is what she looks like as you guys can see the red liquid on the inside is the um, yeah sorry I'm, I'm gonna have to get adapt to these terminologies these multi acids but do you know you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say so um, this is the multi acid oil um, obviously I'll be giving you guys I will try to give you guys an update on if it's actually worth the money or not because I don't know I've never used it in my life so I don't want to give a a pin or something that I don't even know yet so we'll see how it works if I see that it's good obviously I'll make a full like review regarding it and see if it actually works I'm gonna be using it for the next two weeks because that's usually the period that I allow for me to see whether a product works for my skin or not and um, yeah let's see this is going to be quite a long video because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff like there's a lot of stuff oh okay so this is the conceal and hydrate concealer um, I got this in color C13 because obviously girl your concealer has to be slightly like lighter than your own color so you can actually highlight certain areas of your face I don't see the point of having a concealer that's your exact skin tone that don't make no sense but I mean if that's what you do kudos on you but um, I like to buy my concealer slightly lighter than my actual skin complexion I will show you guys I will take a swatch of this and show you guys what it looks like but this is the C13 concealer this one I think okay so the purpose of this one from what I'm reading here is to give you more radiance and it's extra hydrating for your skin by the looks of it yet again with a lot of these products I have not actually used them they look good great packaging um, let's see how it swatches on my skin right so as you can see it's hold on oh oh no I think I thought that was a pattern but it's not I've put a tiny swatch here on my arm for you guys to have a look I like the color it's not like because you know like with some concealers when you put it on it makes you look like really pasty and like ashy and you know especially for a lot of us black girls especially we have you know with this skin color when you are ashy you can tell that you are ashy <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say I mean obviously I'm not saying that just that's just the case with like black people but when a black person has not put on enough oil you will know the ash of it all period that's why you have to actually put on some kind of oil especially you know what this is really out of topic but you know have you ever seen you know in school you always had that one kid with the ashy ankles I could not I could not okay but this is the concealer blended into my arm and I personally think I'm not mad look it's blended in hold on it's blended in so well I love it I love it and here's like a trick and I don't know if this is this works for everyone but 
the a lot of parts of my body the ones that are not obviously exposed to the sun are lighter than obviously the bits obviously obviously the parts are not exposed to the sun so what I do when I buy a concealer and a foundation I make sure that the concealer matches the skin tone of my face I mean the concealer I make sure that the foundation matches somewhat well yeah matches my skin tone and then the concealer that I will buy the trick is I will look at my skin like my arms as you can see my arms are a little bit lighter than my own face and I will base the color of my arm with the concealer that I'm going to use for my face that's just a trick if you want to use it use it if not you know but it's some advice that I definitely think is of some help for some of you ladies okay so that is the first little oh I didn't show you guys how it actually comes like oh look they come wrapped up like this like they put quite a few products in like these things and I think it's to protect it I suppose I guess but yes so we're going to be opening this one and I believe my eyelashes yes because I ordered a pair of eyelashes and these are so cute like look at these eyelashes girl it's like it gives you that oomph without you know without too much because I sell on my website actually I sell um, a pair of eyelashes which are very long which I mean you know when you want to make a statement and you know girl by all means because even me you know sometimes when I just want to be a bad bib I put those on it makes me feel like a bad bib so but some, it's not every day, like it's not all the time that you want to have eyelashes that are sticking out like spiders. And I'm saying that because I wear them myself, <laughs> okay? They're not comfortable and sometimes it's just good to have a flirty little moment with eyelashes like these that just gives you that... Let me never do that again, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Like these eyelashes are cute and I cannot wait to try them on. I don't know if they come, let me see if they come with glue. If they come with glue, their makeup revolution, I will be buying again. I don't think they come with glue. Usually these companies they don't give you glue. I don't sell glue. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm judging. I don't even I don't even sell glue with my products. Okay. It doesn't come with glue. But I opened the packet so you guys can have a proper look at what these eyelashes look like. These are cute. And there will definitely be a moment. I just love the way. Let me see if I can put it on like this and you guys can. Well, you get it. Now these are nice. And it comes with this little thing here on the side. So that when you pull them out, it just comes off like this. And all you have to do is pick up the box. Like that's that's cute. I like it. They definitely fought a lot behind their packaging. So kudos to your makeup revolution and by the looks of it I'm gonna be buying a whole lot more for makeup revolution like I, I'm in love I'm in, I'm in love I love it because I've got a makeup sponge that's very ashy at the moment you know we all have that one sponge that just <laughs> crusty dusty <laughs> that we use God knows how many times it, it, okay I have this one I'm, I'm, I can't even show that on camera it's disgusting but this is my new makeup sponge. You guys know what a makeup sponge looks like. I'm not gonna sit here and talk for half an hour about a sponge. You lot know what it does, not it? So <laughs> this is my sponge that I purchased as well. And I will be I will be adding the prices of each product, you know, next to the products, by the way. So yeah, you guys know what roughly it is and how much I actually spent. Okay. So this is the lift and define 5d mascara and i'm going to be trying this one actually out on camera and we will see what it actually looks like because why not let's find out according to this it says before and after that's supposed to be the before and after let's see if we can obviously realistically speaking let's not say that eyelashes will look like the way they look like in advertisements because we know a lot of the time companies <laughs> will put eyelash extensions on their models and say that that's the effect the mascara will give you false advertisement that's what that's called you're lying the devil is a liar you are a liar okay anyway so this is supposed to give me extreme extension effect lashes reach new heights super separation wide look out of this world impact and mega boost for lashes so let's see if it does all that okay so let's open the package 
Oh, this is cute. This just looks so like, like there's not a lot going on. Like I love the packaging of Makeup Revolution. Oh, and it's got an R on it, that's cute. Okay, so let me grab a mirror or something and then we can try this mascara and let's see what it does. Okay, now I've got my phone. Let me show you guys first the brush. Oh, why is it not? Well, this is the brush. It's like, you know, those typical, you know, when, honestly speaking, when you see a brush like this, you know, it's about to do madness. You know, it's about to go crazy. So let's see. Okay, so I've got, I gotta find my, I, so I'm gonna use my phone because I couldn't find my compact mirror. So we're gonna have to use what we, what we got available. So. Okay. Okay. It's doing something alright. It's doing some. Oh, yes. Oh, very subtle. guys to see yeah I like it she's cute I think I've got a new favorite mascara I really like this let me get close to camera as well I moved a bit closer to the camera look at that people look at her though Ooh. I am not mad I am not mad at this mascara they might have just did some. Not might have, they did do some. I love this. Will I be buying this again? 100%. Next product, please. Now we have the, it's like this thing that helps like, it's like a brow laminator, which is, you know, especially when you, you wanna do like a neutral look, you just wanna put a little bit of, you know, just to give that zhuzh. Let me open the packet so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. I am not going to be putting it on because, like I said, I don't want to put on a full face of makeup. But let's see how I feel towards you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hold on, let's open it. Okay. So it comes like this and I think you can just screw it and hold on. That's what it looks like. It's like a small pencil, you can screw it back in. And obviously I believe this is for you to draw them out. And the gel, is this gel? Yes it is. Let's try it on my eyebrows right now. And let's see. God, I don't wanna put on any actual Oh gosh, yes. I don't want to put on any like makeup. So, oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, oh, sorry. I was too busy mapping out my lashes. <laughs> Why am I calling it lashes? These ain't lashes, eyebrows, girl. Yeah. I like this and I'm sure that even when I add the actual um, eyebrow pencil bit that it would that would be a moment laminating brow so far I am not disappointed with my purchases I'm actually really happy <laughs> so let's hope I'm gonna keep on being happy the next product is the dipping gel eyeliner for such a long time I've wanted to have this type of eyeliner why because you can use your brush with it <laughs> and you know I have a bit of a shaking hand and I don't do wings the way I used to back in the day I don't even know what happens maybe it's just because I don't do it constantly you know when you do something every single day you become good at it 
which I used to do wing quite a lot but then you know I stopped when I got older because I couldn't be asked bro why are half of these packages so difficult to open okay we open her she's open now bruh they just flew out of the it just kind of flew everywhere but um it actually comes with the little brush and it comes like this this is the xx revolution and there is the eyeliner so i'm definitely going to be doing some with this um yeah so this is the eyeliner that i ordered so my next product is the conceal and hydrate um, radiance foundation and this one is in f14 they're basically the same bottle but this is like the miniature version and this is like the tall version and this is just concealer and this is foundation <laughs> i don't actually know what the difference is between concealer and foundation but aren't they basically the same thing okay anyway anyway so this is the foundation I got it in F I got it in F14.5 um, only because as I mentioned earlier I don't like looking ashy when I have my makeup on so we're gonna pump this up on my arm and let's see what it looks like okay I'm putting it on You know when something is new, you have to kind of pump it for a while before it even comes out. Oh, and there she is. Look at that. Okay, I pumped a bit too much. <laughs> well, but you guys will get the idea. So that's her. Look at that. That is literally my exact skin tone. This is perfect. This is going to be blend. This is going to blend in so well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to kind of find it out so you guys can see what it looks like when it's dry. So you guys can get the idea. Perfect. I think it's actually a little bit dark. A little bit. But that's because I've got it on my arm. We need to see what it looks like on my face. But that's what she looks like dry and i think we match <laughs> so yes i'm not this is that that's the foundation guys i'm not mad i quite like it the coverage though like look at how much she actually covers look at the coverage of that that is wow yeah i'm not mad at the foundation child this stuff is actually really good like i am so surprised don't know why I've been sleeping on this brand, but um, let's continue over here. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is the Makeup Revolution bronzer, which is what I got as well. You know when obviously you put your loose is it loose lucid powder what do you call it translucent powder on your face sometimes you end up looking a bit like a ghost and i'm not gonna lie i learned this from um this popular youtuber called annie drea i've seen when she does her makeup she puts on a uh, bronzer on the bits that have gotten a bit like you know ashy just to give it that 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 caribbean flavor you know that sunshine <laughs> but you know just to give you like a tiny little bit of a tan when you put on um your makeup so you don't even look ashy so you know thanks annie dreyer uh, <laughs> i'm looking forward to using this bronzer i'm not i can swatch it i'm not gonna put it on though um oh it's got the you know when something is brand new sometimes i forget that they put all these plasticky things to stop people from being able why is it not opening what, what the heck Oh, there we go. So this is her, and let me just take. It's that's the color, y'all. And I'm just gonna blend it out onto my skin. As you guys can see, I put it on my hand. There's a little bit of glue, so just ignore the glue. But this is the bronzer, and well, I mean, it gives you that little dark effect. So I think it will work when I do my makeup looks. So 
looking forward to look, um, using this one and then of course I needed to buy some setting powder it's just some banana powder I know some girls like to use um, either whiter looking powders and don't get me wrong I've I've done that including baby powder just to set my makeup because it works but the problem about using white translucent powder is that when you put it on your skin sometimes especially when you take a picture you see how ashy you actually look yes I keep talking about being ashy I don't like looking ashy so <laughs> um, yeah so that's why I prefer to use um, a yellow based kind of translucent powder for my skin but yes that's a translucent powder okay so as I was mentioning earlier when I first started the video this is everything that you guys just saw let me try and put, hold everything in my hand all of this that I bought like all the concealers the lashes everything in total it costed me about a hundred pounds which I'm not mad I like the products I really like the quality of everything that I've purchased and I will definitely say that it was worth my price I can't wait for me to use some of these products including the foundation and you know show you guys a look with it and you know but when I made my purchase um, on the bottom of the screen it said something about a Valentine's Day gift from Makeup Revolution and from what I can see it's this box because I did not order <laughs> an extra box they sent me this which is a very large box for a gift when they said gift I was thinking it was going to be one item but to my surprise look at how much free stuff Makeup Revolution have sent me just look at how much stuff and you know me you know my broke ass I'm not even gonna lie to you I love free stuff <laughs> I love free stuff so when I saw that were giving me a freebie I was expecting you know just like I don't know some blusher or something or like a mascara or a lipstick or you know because usually when companies say freebies you get like tiny little items but no girl they down sent me a whole box full of stuff oh my god and I believe um, a lot of this is from like their Valentine's Day collections and all that stuff but I will show you guys one by one each product. Oh my god. Oh, and there's more on the oh, there's more on the bottom. Ciao. Okay, let's let's open up this box. And I'm gonna show you guys one by one all the stuff that I got for free from Makeup Revolution. And I can even show the receipt here on the side. It literally shows free Valentine's Day gift. And I did not pay for this. This was given to me entirely for free. Okay. I got sent this. Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow. Ooh. So it's like, what is this? Body shimmer? They sent me a body shimmer, guys. Ooh, this is, ooh, this is cute. So they sent me a body shimmer, and obviously, this is, you know, to have your, you know, your skin looking like goddess. You know, you put this on your legs, the sun is shining, you, the horizon be hitting it. It's a look. <laughs> it's a look. So I am looking forward to trying this, especially now that the summer is coming up and hopefully, hopefully, because now that Miss Rona has kind of calmed down here in the UK, I can actually travel and we can try this bib. But um, regardless whether I'm gonna travel or no, I'm gonna try this and I'm really excited. Thank you, Makeup Revolution. This was cute. The next item we have in the box is Iced Heart Triple Baked Blusher. What is this? So it's triple baked blush. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but this is the packaging. This is cute. I think I've said cute too many times in this video, <laughs> but you're gonna hear it again. Um, it says, I love revolution. Okay. Baking hearts. Let's open up the package and then see what's inside. Guys. It's even packeted in a heart like this is so cute you know what this reminds me of you know those sweets that you buy those really dry ones um, let's open her up 
Oh, okay. So it's like a highlighter. It's a highlighter and like, look, let me, let me show you guys. Okay. So it's like a highlighting blush, I'm assuming. I'm just gonna quickly use my fingers to swatch some of that. Oh my God, guys. Look at how bright that looks, girl. Oh my gosh. Nah, they, they might have just did some. This is nice. This is really, really, really nice. I'm definitely going to be using this. I like how subtle it actually is once it's actually blended in. I put some on my arm, but I don't know if you guys can even clock it. Well, regardless, I like it's really subtle and it's not like in your face because I know some highlighters can be really in your face. And I just want one where, you know, you turn to the sides like, boom. You turn to that, boom, you know? So, I really like this. This is cute. I love it. Okay. They've, oh, oh my god, okay. So they've sent me this as well for free. This is Wild Animal Palette. You know, I don't really wear eyeshadow that much, but um, when I do, I, no, I'm joking. When I do, I, the way I'm saying when I do, I do like I create looks. I don't even do anything. So I've managed to open it now. Um, okay. So I like the leopard print. Wild animal moment. Ooh, yes. Oh, oh my. Oh, this is nice. These lot, Makeup Revolution, you guys are good at your packaging. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, oh. <gasps> it comes with a mirror, guys. Look at that. It comes with a mirror. And look at the shades. These are literally, you know what? Look at the shades. You know what, yeah? <clears throat> I don't wear eyeshadows that much. So obviously when I saw this eyeshadow palette being included for free, obviously I ain't gonna complain, it was for free. I'm happy, I'm satisfied. But I thought it was gonna be bright colors, which really is not me. And these are just very subtle colors. The, the, these are usually the colors that I wear to put. If I, if I, whenever I wear eyeshadow, these are the kind of colors that I like to wear. Like, I like that this is not lazy, lousy packaging. Like, they've literally took the time to even put tape on here. And look, look at this. Yes, moms. Okay. This is cute. Let me see how pigmented this is. Look at the pigment, guys. This is this color. I don't know what that color is. It's this one over here. If this one came out like this, imagine what the other ones are going to look like. I'm definitely looking forward into using this whenever I go back out and things are open and I can go out and look good. So, peeps, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you very much for, you know, those people that kind of watch my stuff. I'm always going to say thank you to you guys. I'm always grateful. I may have a very small community, but it's still my little community of people that like my stuff. So, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like I mentioned earlier, give this video a thumbs up. If it reaches at least 20 likes, I will do a Makeup Revolution look and show you guys um, the products that I've actually purchased. So, without further ado, see you guys when I see you guys. <laughs>